guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm testing the Re wow, that puts a lot of shine around. Um, so I'm testing the Revolution Contour and Define kit. I picked this up in Superdrug a few weeks ago. It was on a three for two offer. I picked up this one of my advent calendars and a present for Callum. So one thing I want to say about this is the brushes. I don't think they're labelled correctly because apparently this is the contour brush and this is the fluffy brush. So I don't think they're labelled correctly. I just want to point that out because I've looked, it says on the back, the fluffy brush is designed for sweeping off powder, which is here, and bronzing the face. And that the contour brush is designed for contouring and highlighting. Now, I do not see myself being able to sweep off powder with a little dense brush like this. This is what I would use to sweep off powder. So I think the brushes are labelled incorrectly. Um, but I just wanted to say that I am going to apply my base makeup now. I've got different boppers on today. I've got trees on today. Um, yeah, I'm going to apply my face makeup now. I'm not going to use this sponge just because I have actually already opened this. And I will show you this. Um, there's a slight issue with this one. So I just need to like wet it and kind of like it de-dent. De <laughs> uh, um, but let's just sit here for a minute and talk about what you actually get in here. So, as I said, you get a fluffy brush, a contour brush, a translucent powder and oh a blending makeup sponge and a contour palette so when i got this this was 20 pounds but i do think it's more than that now i probably wouldn't have got this if it was on offer that i will say that for starters even though i haven't used it i probably wouldn't have got this if it was an on offer um just because I'm not the sort of person that would. Uh, I don't normally buy m myself gift sets like this, but I figured I'd test one out for you guys so that that way you can assess whether or not you want this one or if you think any of the others are gonna be worth it. But generally speaking, I don't get myself gift sets. Um, and some of the gift sets seem, I don't wanna say pointless, but I don't understand why. Like, for instance, there is an entire gift set devoted to brows. And there's literally a palette this size for brows. And that, I understand if you're a makeup artist, I get that. But if you're not, and you're just buying it for yourself, I don't really get it. Okay, so yeah, let's just get on to testing this palette. I'm not going to test the powder because I already know how Revolution powders work. So I'm just going to put that out there.
fact that you do get a powder in there I wish it was a bit bigger but I'm glad that it's in there um, I like the fact they give you a brush for the powder as well as the contour and I like the fact they give you a sponge for if you want to use a sponge to bake um, the palette uh, it blends really really nicely I really like the way it's come out the bronzers weren't too dark for me the problem I have is I am quite pale so it's not very universal as hard as they've tried to make it universal it's not it's really aimed to light to fair skinned maybe medium skin at a push but it's not entirely universal um, and the other thing is I paid 20 quid for a palette two brushes the powder and a sponge honestly I prefer the the just the contour palette they do um, because the pans are bigger these pans are really really slim and while that brush fits there not everyone likes to contour with that sort of brush normally I don't um, so if I was trying to use the regular the normal brush I use I wouldn't be able to get them in these pans um, but the powders are their usual quality you know they're blendable they're amazing they're perfect that's my issue is the fact that that how much is their contour palette like six quid and I know it's like I, I, I'm not saying it's a bad product I'm not saying it's a bad gift set I'm saying I personally wouldn't buy it again honestly because and I wouldn't personally buy it for any of my family or friends either because it's just not something they'd find helpful like my sister has contour palettes like so I wouldn't buy it for her my mum doesn't wear contour and I don't know anyone else in my life that's really into makeup if you do then you might know someone that really that finds this palette really really helpful and they really like it but personally I don't um, I honestly would just go out buy them if you wanted similar like if you wanted to get them a kit to contour their face and to like to define their face I'd say get the regular revolution palette get a pack of brushes off eBay you can get a pack of brushes for about a tenner so that's 16 quid and then you can get a loose powder if you want to or you can get them a real technique sponge or just a cheap pack of sponges I wouldn't buy this I know the packaging's red for Christmas but honestly it's just gonna end up ah, I just shut it on my finger honestly it's just gonna end up scratched and the paint's gonna chip off eventually so if the color is important to you then I'd say get it because it is a really good product the powder is really good the brushes are amazing uh, I haven't used the sponge so I can't say about the sponge but um, honestly if you're just looking for a good contour product I wouldn't go for this I'd go for the regular that's my opinion sorry guys um, I will continue to use this but I mean I wouldn't buy it again um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up for me if you're enjoying me and my content then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video I hope you're having a lovely, lovely December. Leave your video suggestions in the comments down below and I'll see you all through the screen. Bye guys!